Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to be playing a tune called Yovano Yovanki. This is a 7-8 tune from Macedonia. Now Macedonia, uh, in case you don't know, is a um, country between Greece, Bulgaria and Albania. And uh, it's where Alexander the Great came from. And it's a country with, um, shall we say, flexible borders and lots of people arguing about it. Um, 7-8 is a wonderful and exciting time signature and understanding the way that the beats are arranged is the key to being able to play in 7-8. There are two ways of splitting 7-8. Um, the way this one is organised is uh, 3 and 2 twos. 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 and a 7 8 organised in this way is called a set vorno. Um, it can be 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 in which case it's a ruchenitsa. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just to get used to that rhythm. So um, if you do um, 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 So I'm doing um, down and two ups and I'm accenting the first of the three and the first of each two. Excuse me while I go and feed the cat. <laughs> One happy cat. Right, uh, so where were we? One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. You can also play that. So if you look at the Set Vorno warm-up exercise, which you can get from me if you're a subscriber and you email me, then we've got alternating might take you a long time to get into your head but once it's there <laughs> it'll never come out again. Uh, you can practice it when you're uh, standing at a bus stop, sitting in a train, uh, watching the telly, you can just tap your fingers along and get that going on in your head. Now the scale that we're using, it's a, a lovely scale called the He Jazz and um, if we're in E then it's First finger, second finger, and then that, I always use my fourth finger for that. Down. I'll do that again. Two, three, four. So if you're doing it in seven, eight, yeah, da, 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 da. Or we can do Or we can alternate the two patterns like this That's a good warm up, um, and that will get you into the 7 8 feel. So, into the melody. Um, oh, just one other thing to say before we get into the melody, and that there is a vibrato trill which is particular to this kind of music. On a first finger, you rest your second finger right against the first, and you rock it up and down uh, very close to the note. Also do it on a first finger on the D string. Um, I'll go through it really slow. Yeah, da, da, dun, dun. 
got two bars of just an E and you've really got to have the 7-8 uh, either tapping your foot or pulsing in your hand or in your head because otherwise you'll get completely lost unless you've got a band with you. And then the next four bars is like a link section. And again, on those two uh, long, uh, the second and fourth bars here, all you've got is one note. So unless you've got da 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 going on uh, somewhere in you, then you're going to get lost again. So um, let's just go up to there. Da 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 da. Second part which repeats. two bars you've got to have that uh, accent going on in your head. Uh, if you're looking at the music then you'll see that there's a harmony um, and I'm not suggesting that you play the harmony. Uh, sorry I'm just going to have to deal with the cat again. <laughs> One happy cat. So uh, where were we? Yes the harmony. I don't suggest that you try and play the harmony, um, so the harmony basically is for someone else to play, <coughs> or for you to play if someone else is playing the melody, but it's a third above, it's a lovely harmony, it's one that everybody uses, so uh, it's worth knowing about it even if you never actually play it. Um, so this tune can be played kind of up-tempo, it can be played really slow, uh, as a song it's often done pretty slow. So um, I'm going to play out on the with the backing backing track that I've done, which is a couple of fiddles, uh, one playing the harmony and one playing some rhythm. So um, if you if you like this tune, then there's loads more seven eight tunes from Macedonia and Bulgaria in particular, and uh, it's really quite um, addictive once you get into this. If you've never played seven eight before, then you'll find it quite an interesting challenge. So, uh, thank you for listening. If you subscribe, I can send you a copy of the dots, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. See you again soon.